Okay, let's do this. Ooh, I'm nervous. Okay. We're ready. We're ready. What are you waiting for? Fontaine waits above. There will be no going back from here. Yep, this Make is the end. You are ready to face it this is the end. Let's see, do I remember how to fight him? I think, okay, so he has different elements that he uses against you. And... I think when he... You have to defeat him like four times, and then after every fourth time you drain him, I think? I don't remember. <laughs> I'll just wing it. remember when me and the crowd put you in that sub. You were no more than two. You were my ace in the hole. But you were also the closest thing I ever had to a son. And that's why this hurts. Betrayal, kid. Life ain't strictly business. Oh, I can't wait to kill him. I, this, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I hate you so much. Butthead. Okay, he's as fire. I'm gonna use ice on him. Ah, okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. Yeah! Give me your Adam, you bitch! Okay. Uh, yeah, right. Where'd you go? 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 Okay. Um, electric buck, why not? Come here. Ah! Oh, I tried to dodge that. I did not dodge it. Okay, run, 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 run. Run, run, run. This is what I get. Okay, one more. Son of a bitch is gonna pay. Okay, he's got electricity, so what should I hit him with? Um. Uh, why not the bees? Bees. Here, take some bees, you little bitch. Oh, God. God. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. I'm not moving so slow. Oh, because I start crashing. Okay. There's probably a turret somewhere, but I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Just go after him, just go after him. Uh, come here, come here. Uh, okay, I'm out of buck, I'm out of buck, I'm out of buck. Uh, what should I use? Armor piercing rounds, why not? Where'd you go, where'd you go? That's not working, that's not working. Um, okay. Napalm, why not? Nope, 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 nope. Come here, come here. I fucking hate you. This is for Elizabeth, asshole. This is for Elizabeth, you bitch. Uh, yeah! Ugh, after playing 
scary. Let's see. I was so I fucking ready to kill him again. I said you topside. I called you back, showed you what you was, what you was capable of. Even that life you thought you had, that was something I dreamed up and had tattooed inside your head. Now, if you don't call that family, I don't know what it is. And now. That's called karma, bitch. I wonder if that blonde one is, um, a familiar face, if you know what I mean. You see that blonde one? Just saying. They offered you this city. And you refused it. And what did you do instead? What I've come to expect of you. You saved them. You gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. A chance to learn. To find love. To live. And in the end, what was your reward? You never said. But I think I know. A family. Mm, that's what it's always been about. Oh, such a good ending. Like, that is probably the only good Bioshock ending. I mean, it's so much more cathartic because, like, Bioshock is really sad. I mean, Bioshock Infinite is really sad. And so seeing the connection between these two, it makes me happy. I definitely think if you're playing this for the first time, you should play Bioshock, mm -hmm. then Bioshock Infinite, then Burial, and then play Bioshock again, Bioshock 1 again. Um, I'm not going to be playing Bioshock 2 because I really just want to go straight to Bioshock Infinite. Even though there's a lot of things I liked about 2, I just don't want to play, do a whole let's play of it, honestly. I just feel like going straight to Bioshock Infinite will be much more entertaining. Um, and Bioshock 2 isn't necessarily canon anyways, so, um, yeah, but... Okay, so... Spoilers ahead for any of you, any of you who haven't played Infinite or Barrel at Sea, stop watching this part, okay? Um, let's just stop this. So, playing this after playing Burial, um, Elizabeth, I just wanted to avenge Elizabeth, like, just this whole time. I always hated Atlas, but after Barrel at Sea, I hate him even more. I just can't stand his guts and it felt so satisfying to finally kill him. Not only because of everything that he did to Jack, the main character of this game, that he, you know, ruined this kid's life um, along with um, Su Chong. Part of the reason why this is so satisfying is that the role that Atlas played in Jack's life. Um, if you, if it wasn't clear from playing this game, like, Jack was a genetic experiment. The main character was a gen genetic experiment. I think it's, the his mother was, like, Diane, and then his, his father was Andrew Ryan. And the reason why he was really valuable to Atlas is not only he could, that he could be controlled, but also that he had Andrew Ryan's genetics, because you need the genetic code to access Rapture. The experiment was done by Su Chong and Tenenbaum, and they created this child, and they brainwashed the child um, into doing anything that they said just by saying would you kindly afterwards. So if that was unclear, the would you kindly thing, anytime you say would you kindly, Jack had to do whatever you said. So that was like his code word. Um, and then he finally got free of him, of that brainwashing but like the fact that Jack um 
went through all of that messed up crap help made him relate a lot to the little sisters because his life was similar to the little sisters but also this contributes to the overall theme of like family is what bioshock is about it's about family members trying to find each other and you know have that happy ending and what's so sad about bioshock infinite is that that whole idea of a happy ending is kind of lured over you through the relationship between um booker and elizabeth and you get this sense that there's this like jack slash um little sister relationship between them and when you find out that he's actually elizabeth's father it just makes a lot of sense because there was the whole like dynamic was very similar to the dynamic between jack and the little sisters so um and jack was really even though he wasn't the biological father of the little sisters, he became the father of the little sisters. And that, I believe, is what really um, Booker DeWitt always wanted to accomplish, is he always wanted to um, find his daughter and be the father that he wanted to be. And the really sad thing about um, the story is that because of his mistakes, he has to relive the losing his daughter over and over and over again and I, I personally believe in the theory that that says that he's been to rapture 122 times I think that Booker relived rapture 122 times went back and forth 122 times and lost Elizabeth all of those times until he finally succeeded in breaking the cycle he was basically in this purgatory reliving his horrors for over and over and over and I think it means more once you've played Bioshock because you see that there's that happy ending between Jack and the Little Sisters and that Booker just never really finds that. I mean, he does change his history by killing himself and therefore he's in a way reborn and into a universe where he never let Elizabeth go because the person that he would have sold it to is dead. Um, so, and also just, yeah the person that he would have sold it to is dead. So there, in a way, I like to believe that Booker did have his happy ending, but it's it's not quite the same because it's not with the Elizabeth that Reno and Love. And the Elizabeth that Reno and Love went back to Rapture and was compelled by what she saw the little sisters going through in the same way Jack was. Jack was not the biological father of these little sisters, but he related to them because he went through what they went through. He went through the genetic experiments. He went through the isolation and the horror that these little sisters went through. And that's why he felt so compelled to save them. And even though Elizabeth is somewhat of a stranger to these little sisters, it makes sense that she gave her life for them because it's she's a lot like Jack. Um, in that she knows what it's like. I think it makes sense if you've been through something as horrific as that you'd want to get as many people out of it and the fact that there are multiple little girls that were in that situation um, and so there's so many character types that are used over and over again in the Bioshock series. The character type of you know the father, the daughter, and um, even Elizabeth has a lot of similarities to Jack. You, I, you could make the comparison between Jack and Booker, but you could also make the ch comparison between Jack and Elizabeth. And um, there's, this, there's this comment that Tenenbaum made that Jack's genetic code is really special and could bring about peace or something like that. She said something really important like that. And it almost made me believe that I, I've heard this other theory on the internet that that Su Chong used the hair from Elizabeth to um, and implanted Jack with it, and that Jack contains some of Elizabeth's either genetics or something to that ma matter, which would also explain why he felt so compelled to save the little sisters and why he had some sim similarities. It's kind of like sometimes when people have organ donors they will begin to develop like appetites for foods that they never liked but they'll find out that the people that donated those organs to them had cravings for those foods. I don't know what the scientific explanation for it is but sometimes they will almost have this like connection to 
the person who donated the body part. So I don't know if there is like a biological or scientific connection between Jack and Elizabeth, um, but that's also really good kind of theory that's floating out there. Um, so yeah, overall I'm really glad that I played this after playing Barry Let's See. It made everything really make more sense and it made the whole series so much more meaningful. Um, there was times where I almost felt like that they had thought about the future of Bioshock Infinite before they made this game. Now I know the developer of Bioshock 1 and Infinite said that he didn't think up Infinite before Bioshock and that it wasn't, you know, it wasn't already in his mind or whatever. But I can't help but think that the I some of the ideas might have been there and that they had hoped to set up a sequel and maybe that, you know, they imprinted some of those ideas in the first game. Either way, um, there are some definite signs of infinite in this game. My theory is that, it's, I think the more believable theory is that the developers and creators of Bioshock Infinite went back, played Bioshock 1, and saw some of the evidence of things that they could imprint into Infinite, and they did it so flawlessly that it almost seems like the whole multiple universe thing was there before it was really there. Um, either way, even though Infinite wasn't really thought of necessarily before Bioshock, I like to think that there there is evidence of Elizabeth being there before she was there. And yeah, it may be stretching it a little bit, but it just, I think that's the great thing about the suspension of disbelief that this game has created. It almost, it just seems magical. The first game seems magical going back and playing it again. It almost seems like it flawlessly um, goes into infinite and that infinite always existed, even though it came about after this game. So, yeah, I can't wait to play Infinite. I will be playing that next, and I will see you all then. I should go.